it's my birthday and the best gift I can give myself is self-care. Nothing screams self-care like a sugar scrub. So that's what we're making today. And I'll be gifting three of these to three lucky winners. Check the description box to enter the giveaway. Now let's get to making this foaming sugar scrub. Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. Thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video. To make this foaming sugar scrub, you'll need sodium cocoa isothionate. This is a very gentle surfactant cleansing agent. This will make up the foaming and cleansing properties of our sugar scrub. In order to use this solid surfactant, you'll need to add a liquid surfactant. I am using Coco Mitopropyl Betaine because it is a mild cleansing agent and it will boost the foaming properties of our sugar scrub. Together, these cleansing agents will give us a creamy, rich lather. Although my SCI is in the chip form, it still gives off a lot of fine powder, so make sure you're wearing protective gear or some type of mask when dealing with this ingredient. My complaints about the chip form is that it is almost impossible to melt down. This is after 30 minutes on heat and it still has a lot of chunks. So I definitely prefer the powdered form over the chip form, but I thought I would give it a try for this formula. While that is melting, let's measure out the rest of our ingredients. I'm using polysorbate 20 as my emulsifier it will also help to improve the texture and viscosity of our sugar scrub. Next, I'm adding Propendol 1-3 as my humectant. This ingredient will draw in moisture and lock it in. It is not sticky like glycerin, and when combined with glycerin, it will help to reduce the stickiness of glycerin. So I added them both in this formula. Glycerin will also help to hydrate the skin and improve the overall feel of our sugar scrub. When these ingredients are together, you can see that they increase the viscosity a lot. It almost becomes like a very light gel. In a separate container, I'll be adding cytyl alcohol. This will be our thickening agent. It's also going to work with polysorbate 20 to increase the efficacy of the emulsifier. Cytyl alcohol is also responsible for giving us the buttery, fluffy, pipeable texture of our sugar scrub. Now we can combine all three phases of our sugar scrub. Our surfactant phase, our water phase, and then our oil phase. This is what our surfactant phase is looking like once it is melted down. I know it looks very chunky and it looks like it's not right, but this is what you're looking for, okay? This is the texture that you need to make this sugar scrub. So once you have your surfactant phase melted down, go ahead and add in your other phases. Adding in each phase will increase the creaminess of your sugar scrub and you'll start to see it come together. To make my sugar scrub fluffier and smooth, I'm going to put it into a larger bowl so that I can whip it up with my stand mixer. At this point, your mixture should look like shea butter. We're going to add other ingredients to make it even softer and fluffier. In most cases, this is when you would add your oils like grapeseed oil, coconut oil, but we're going to save our precious oils for another formula. You will notice that I also didn't use any raw butters like cocoa butter or mango butter because it's just going to get washed down the drain. Instead, I'm using poly gel emollient. This is a substitute for your natural oils. It's going to give you even more emolliency, softening properties, and hydrating moisturizing properties without the stickiness and greasiness and oiliness of your regular oils. It's also going to save you from putting those precious oils in a sugar scrub that's going to go straight down the drain. Like our preservative in our fragrance oil, poly gel emollient is heat sensitive so make sure you add it during the cool down phase. Although this formula does not contain water, it still needs a preservative because you're going to put your hands in the jar and that jar is going to be contaminated with water so you need to protect your product. 
put preservatives in your sugar scrubs, okay? And because it's my birthday, I definitely had to use the birthday cake fragrance oil from Crafter's Choice. It smells so good, you guys. Just don't get tempted. This sugar scrub is not edible. Please do not eat. Even though we will be adding edible sugar, this is plain white sugar, you guys. You can get it right out of your cabinet. This is the main ingredient to scrub away dead skin and dirt. This is going to leave you with soft, smooth, baby smooth, supple skin. So once you whip in your sugar, you're done making your foamy sugar scrub. You can package this up and gift it to your friends, your family, or gift it to yourself. I just love how thick and creamy this sugar scrub is. It is so beautiful. And the best part is you're making it yourself. So you can add or take away whatever you like to get the perfect consistency that you are looking for. If you're looking for something a little bit more, I guess, scoopable, then you definitely want to leave out some of your thicker ingredients. If you're looking for something even thicker than this, then uh, yeah, I don't know what you're looking for. <laughs> so now for the fun part, I wanna jazz this up to make it a gift. Depending on how you jazz it up, this foaming sugar scrub is perfect for any occasion calling for gift giving. So now I'm just going to separate my sugar scrub into equal parts. Well, as equal as I possibly can <laughs> without measuring. And I'm going to color each section with mica. You can use any colorant that you prefer. For my mica, I'm using colors from Mad Micas. These colors are so vibrant and they're neon and just beautiful. But I had a truly hard time picking which colors I wanted because they were all so beautiful. But I was trying to get that birthday cake theme. So I went with a neon green, neon orange, and a neon blue, and a neon pink. And I was hoping that these colors would come together well. And I think they really did. I did get that kind of birthday type feel from these colors. And just look how beautiful they are. What do you guys think about these colors mixed together? I was hoping that when I piped them together that they would come out looking birthday cake like. Uh, I didn't want just a regular white sugar scrub with sprinkles. So this is why I was really trying to find another way to jazz it up without having to add sprinkles or anything like that. So yeah, this is what I came up with. You can really be as creative as you want to be. I have seen so many creative sugar scrubs and they're very versatile and you can just have fun with them. That's what I really love about sugar scrubs. There is no right or wrong way, so just do whatever makes you happy, okay? Now you can fill up your container with your lovely sugar scrub. You do not have to pipe it in like I did. You can just spoon it in or however you like to do it these colors blended so beautifully i just really loved how they came together it was a lot better than i thought they were going to come together so i was really excited about that i tried out the frosted jar just because i thought it was just aesthetically beautiful but i really wanted to see those beautiful colors pop in this clear jar as well which jar do you guys prefer the clear or the frosted and that's it you just made a foaming sugar scrub and it looks absolutely beautiful don't forget for my birthday i want to give back to you all to say thank you and i'm giving three lucky subscribers one of these beautiful sugar scrubs check the description box down below if you would like to enter but first, if you're someone who enjoys learning like I do, you should definitely check out Skillshare. I've been using Skillshare for almost a year now and I absolutely love it. I have been able to enhance skills that I already had while also learning new skills that I didn't even know I wanted to learn. This is because the site is so easy to navigate and the classes are so easy to understand. It's just so easy to keep learning and becoming more creative each and every day. So a lot of you know I have been looking into making soaps as of late. So I've been on there a lot looking up different tools and skill sets that I would want to utilize once I start making my soaps. One class by Seema Chowdhury definitely caught my attention because she is a chemist. Not only does she go step by step 
telling you how to do the formulation she also has a video tutorial where she goes through each step and shows you exactly how she makes shampoos conditioning bars scrubs and other hair and skincare products so this is why skillshare is so awesome you can have the confidence in knowing that you're learning from experts in their own field so if you're looking to invest in your future or just learn a new skill try out Skillshare. The first 1,000 people to use the link in the description box will get one month free of Skillshare. All right, you guys, once again, I just wanna say thank you so much for supporting me. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I have more videos coming for you guys as well. Leave some comments down below, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can keep up with the videos I'm coming out with. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.